Now that we've got the code for the um, image browsing and uploading the images working pretty well, uh, I'm going to add that to three other pages. So it's going to be a lot of copying and pasting. If you don't want to watch this video, that's all it's going to be. So I'm going to put it on the Edit Product page and on the Add Newsletter and the Add a Product page. So we have it on Edit Newsletter. And it's these two buttons and the selection list and all the code that goes behind all this stuff. And so let's get started. Let's see, let's do add a newsletter first. So let's go up here to add news. And let's see, let's copy the stuff we need from here. So we need this panel. Panel view photos. And I just want this to make sure that's in to be inside of my main content div thing there. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's go grab the code. If I remember right, there's the two buttons that are in the um, template. It must have gone by them. Okay, so there's display date. We're looking for the image stuff content image right here. Okay, so I believe we already have the drop down list in here, but I'm going to copy the code. So in this one, on edit newsletter, it's in the edit item template. Over here on add news, we want to make sure and put this in the insert template and look for there's image one and there's our drop down list so we'll put these guys in here and then let's see I um, just want to check the drop down list in this one there's a selected value in add news we're not going to have a selected value because <coughs> there may not be anything in the database. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're adding a new adding a new newsletter here, so we're not reading something from the database. Okay, so the next thing is then to go get the VB code. And here's our add news here. Oops. Talk this again. I double click it instead of single click. Okay, so let's go up the top because there's the two libraries we need to include. Okay, so we've got one of them already. So let's get rid of that. Okay, and let's see if I remember all the other stuff we needed to do. Um, let's just look in here. So there's nothing on the page load. Nothing here, but this details view one item command. This is one where we show and hide that panel. And I think, yep, yeah, it's still called details view one. So I think we can just copy all this code. You know, we didn't change any of the uh, names of any of our controls. So I'm just going to paste this over here top he's complaining about panels details view let's see and I'm pretty sure we called it that down here at the end of this thing I just copy and paste that code oh maybe I didn't oh yeah because we never toggle on this one do we okay so we're also going to have to uh, Put a panel around this details view and toggle, toggle the view here. Let's 
So let's add a panel. You know what? I'm just going to copy the panel from over here in the newsletter. Let's see. Paste that in there, and then we'll get the close panel. And then page down here, find the end of the details view paste that close panel in. Okay, so let's go back here to this code. Okay, so it's not complaining about any of those control names. Oops, it is. PNL add image, panel add image. Okay, so we need to add that as well. Find that panel for adding images. Remember we added that one in here. Oops. Panel and image. Okay, here we go. So let's copy this one. And paste that in here with add news. I'm going to put it just above this panel for viewing photos. And let's go back to our VB code. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, we can get rid of this. No, we're not using this variable anymore. All this code that's commented out, I'm just going to get rid of. Same thing here. Looks good. So let's go back to our VB code for Edit Newsletter and scroll through here. Item updated, I don't think we need. Okay, uh, this check image we don't need because this is one that builds the selection list. Oh, I'm sorry, we do want this. Yes, we do want this. And so I was wrong about the other thing too with the drop down list. We want to call this. So we'll copy this check image because what this does is builds a list of files that the user can choose from. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm building it here already. Okay, so we don't want that code because we're already doing it. And then we don't need this. But here's our button upload in that button page to actually upload the um, picture. Let's put that in here. Should put this all at the bottom so it'd be easy to grab for the other ones, but and then select picture. And select picture two. And command cancel, command cancel two. So let's try copy all these over. I'm just going to scroll through here real quickly and see if it's missing any of our control objects. <coughs> okay, I don't see any obvious errors there. So let's save all this and then we'll try it out. Let's see here we are with add newsletter. And we have the uh, upload photo, so we can browse. Let's 
let's see. Got some other pictures here. Um, I need to stick one in there. You know what? I, I'm not going to test this. I'm pretty sure that this works. Although we should have a cancel on here. Okay. Um, so upload photo. Let's try the view photos. Hey, good. This works. And let's choose one here. Let's choose this uh, car3.jpg. Put, put car2.jpg in there. And then let's. Uh, Just test everything here. The title is "Delete Me." And then here's just a bunch of text. I'll insert this. View the newsletter, and there it is. Okay, so it looks like the ad newsletter is working. Um, I'm just going to do the same thing for add product and edit products, copy this code over. So I'm actually going to end this here and not drag you through this, but I'm just copying and pasting and since I'm not changing any of the control names, everything just works out great. Um, so that's basically it for this one.